video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful card using the JND356 Infinity die. Now, the Infinity die was launched with the box kit, box kit 10 from Practical Publishing, and it's part of the whole Infinity range. So we started at the beginning of 2024 with the Infinity layering dies. We then did Infinity panels to match that. We've got this one, the Infinity corners and sort of squares as well within there so they're all tied together so they can be used separately or they can be used together because they keep this idea of a constant swirl that never ends and that's why it's called infinity so for this card we're going to make something relatively simple so what i've done is i've used the press cut nesting squares and i basically cut myself a smaller white square and then a larger blue square very simple and easy to do so the white square is five and a half inches and the inside of that is four and a quarter, which gives us a three quarter inch square. And the larger square is slightly bigger at six inches. And we've got the interior of that at three and three quarter inches. So we're keeping a nice full quarter inch all the way around rather than the usual eighth of an inch I want because we really want that strong color. And this has been cut in coconut white and been cut in the Aegean blue. So I'm going to mount those two together with foam tape, which I've already done here. And what I've then done is to cut four corners. Now I've cut them like this. And I want to show you basically how I've actually achieved this pattern because this is part of the card. So I'm going to take the four corners and I'm actually going to use my mat. And what I'm doing is I'm placing each one against a line so that I get them nice and straight on that mat. So I place that one against the line. I'm then going to meet up the next two. And if you can see here, we keep them basically touching that same center line so that we keep a distance space there. And what I'm going to do is bring some of the Craft Artist low tack tape and I'm just gonna tape those down to start with to keep them in place. Then I'm going to take the next die and you can see again, we've got two lines here to meet. So I'm going to meet the next two at that line again, and again, just tape them down and then take the final one, making sure they're still on the lines and arrange that so that they again, those touch and meet those four lines. So where they connect here, we're going to add a little bit of tape and where they connect here, we're going to add a little bit of tape. And by doing that, we keep that perfect square cross in the center and that perfect distance. So once I'm happy with that, I'm then gonna take a little bit more tape and I'm gonna tape it down. So I'm actually creating my own die. So I'm creating a die to give me that pattern. I then take a square of card and this is five and a half by five and a half. And I simply drop that into the center and we run that through and we cut it. And that will give us this beautiful piece here, but it will also give us four perfect corners. So we have four perfect corners and those are what we're going to use next. So I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to bring in my frame and I'm simply going to take a little bit of glue glaze onto the back of the corners. And I would use glue glaze on this because we want to make sure we're only gluing the parts we want. So simply take a little bit of that and I'm going to position this. Hopefully you can see there using the points so that it's nice and even and straight. And we get that beautiful corner. And again, we can take and do the next one. So again, just a little bit of glue glaze onto the back of there. And I'll probably pop this one in the opposing corner to show you the difference. So we pop that again and we could stop and just have it beautifully framed like that and have a beautiful stamped piece in the middle. Just adds that little bit of detail. But what I'm going to do for this one is continue on and do four pieces until I've got a, just like this, we've got that beautiful four frame. And again, we could just take a piece of white, pop it in, beautiful stamped image, sentiment, a poem in there. And it's a really nice detailed frame without a lot of work. We've only had to do one cut to get us those beautiful four pieces. But I don't like waste, so I'm going to take the piece of waste that we've got and I'm simply going to, again, just this time use my normal glue and glue all the way around, then through the cross in the middle 
and pop a little bit on these four little pieces. So anyway, you think it might flap and we're just going to stick that down to our white piece there. So again, we've got that beautiful simple cross and we could leave it at that point. But what I want to do is to drop the alternate color in. So here I've used the denim blue. I use the Aegean blue on the frame. So I want to go into the Aegean blue again. So I'm going to take the piece of scrap waste so you can use a piece of waste card or you can use the square from the center. And we're just simply going to place our four dies down again, run that through and cut that. And from that, we will actually end up with again, another piece of waste. And we will end up with four nice blue corners. So here we go. And all I'm going to do is, again, take a little bit of glue glaze and drop these in. And you can alter these colours really beautifully and continue this pattern, make yourself a long strip or anything like that. And we simply drop those into the space created, just like that. So we get that beautiful trace work as if it's on a, a gate or something like that. And again, you can see here we could continue the pattern by adding more on like that to get a very beautifully patterned background. So I've already put four pieces together. There we go, nice and simple. So we've got that beautiful cross in the center and we've got our frame. So I'm just gonna take my frame and frame that piece and get that little bit of foam tape on there, nice and even. And there we have our beautiful frame. But again, it's dragging you to the centre and there's nothing in the centre. So now we're going to use another die in the set, which is this beautiful larger square. It's got almost a Celtic cross to it. I think that's beautiful. So I've got a piece of the coconut white here and I've cut this to two inches square. And I'm just going to tape down, make sure you nice and securely tape this down to the centre of the square. And we run that through and we cut it, which gives us this beautiful pattern here. And again, I'm going to then take a piece of the Aegean blue and we'll glue those both together, which I've got here. And I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape on the back just to lift that. And we then have options for the central card. So we can pop it in square, we can pop it in at a diagonal. So I'm gonna pop it in at a diagonal using the design. You can see that we've got that beautiful, almost Celtic design going wonderfully there through the center. And then we simply take a card blank. Here I've got a simple six by six. And we glue that onto there. And that gives us our beautiful panel. We could go with a larger card blank. So we could go with a seven by seven to give a little bit more white. But I love that just in the easy and simplicity. For more ideas, hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John next door on Crafts 2 group on Facebook. Enjoy. Enjoy. <music>